there was something about John F. Kennedy from the very beginning. The way he came across, his rhetoric, the notes of idealism that he struck. Every one of us will go home with the most profound impression of what a strong, vital people can accomplish. There was substance there, but it was much more than substance. It was reaching the public and especially young people emotionally in a way that's lasted for a lifetime. I don't think you can separate the emotional tie that the public had. You know, you have an intellectual tie, you admire his vision, his knowledge, his judgment, his strategy, his eloquence. But the emotional tie through the family, I think, was really a very important one. He inspired us all to be better people. He inspired us to try to work to make this country better. He inspired us to seek things that we didn't think were ever possible. When you die young, when you're martyred, an aura exists about you and you're lifted up. And uh, that happened to John F. Kennedy to the detriment of those who came before him and even came after him. But it's not just the tragedy not just the assassination and the questions that still surround the assassination. Kennedy was the first modern president. Before that, presidents were always just, you know, sort of fat and bald white men, <laughs> you know, it was kind of, you know, you didn't really think much <laughs> of, of them in terms of, you know, their star quality in a way. And Kennedy had that. I think the legacy is still about service and also about building a just America. Building an America that all can participate in. And I think that part of his legacy is very strong. I don't think the Kennedy legacy is Camelot. I don't think it is uh, Cy Hirsch's version either, where it was a CD and see me undertaking. But to me, his legacy has always been his charisma and the, sort of the standard he set for later presidents.